Hello my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, this is going to be kind of an interesting video in a way. This is going to be um, maybe almost like a preview of future giveaways or potential future sales. <laughs> I might sell some, sell, uh, some of my comics. Um, I have kind of gone through my collection. I haven't completely gone through everything but I've gone through a lot of it and I removed all the duplicates. So I had a bunch of duplicates in my collection that um, were just sort of books that I had extras of. Um, you know, you sometimes buy the same book. <laughs> uh, you get like a lower grade and then you upgrade it and, you know, that happens all the time. So um, these are the books that are my duplicates that I um, maybe will sell or maybe give do giveaways with. Um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, so yeah, so the first bunch I'm going to show are not really great. Like I'm telling you right now, they're not really great, but they're ones that I just got recently and I just happened to have lots of dupes of these ones. So um, it's all these free book, comic book day ones. So it's like, like these are, I'm just going to flash through them. I'm not even going to say what they are because uh, they're just free comic book day ones that I got. I have duplicates of them because just the way it was. So these are all free comic book day. Uh, you know, um, they're just ones I have. I have some of them I have like three of, I don't know why, but you know, I was, they kept on giving me these free comic book ones and I you know, end up getting a bunch. And that one. And then I'm gonna keep on going through these. So the, sorry, it's gonna start off slow as I just go through a bunch of comics that are free comic book day ones that I just happen to get uh, that um, you know I just happen to have like dupes of <laughs> so this is a lot of free comic book way I haven't even bagged some of these yet so um, I'll probably bag and board them just to make them prettier but um, so these all but there's better comics that are coming up. Just don't worry. <laughs> this is not going to be all free comic book day <laughs> giveaways. Uh, you know, there's better books that come up in a second. I just have to get through these first. So this is my list of free comic book day ones that I will either sell or give away or I don't know what I'll do with them. So um, some more free comic book day. I like this. Actually, I really like this one. <laughs> this one I really like the cover on. Just so you know. And uh, this one, Smurfs. Actually, I'm not sure. Do I have it? I'm going to put that aside. I don't, I'm not sure if I have it dealt with twice. And that. And this one. This one's a good story. Okay. Um, and just last of the free comic book day ones. I'm going to try to do these quick. And then we're going to get into the better, the better books soon. And this one is the first non-free comic book day one. This is uh, Batman Incorporated number one. I think there was a minor first appearance in that. And then this is another one that had a minor first appearance. Uh, this is Batman and Robin number two. Just happened to have two of those. And then we get into some other ones. Elvira House of Mystery. I actually had three copies of this. I don't know why I have so many copies. I think I just really like Elvira. <laughs> I, I really like the character. Uh, I really enjoyed the TV series, so I just happened to have that one multiple times. The other one I have, and it's a really high-grade one, is this one. King Kong, number one. Uh, number one. And this is Dave Stevens' art. Really, this is, a, this is actually a really good comic. Um, and it's a nice high grade one. Uh, then we get a uh, Golden Age um, Dell comic. I have two of these, strangely. Um, it's Ten Center. And then we got a Vampirella magazine. This is number uh, 22. It's just a really great cover. I actually showed this on one of my other videos. And then another Vampirella, Vampirella number seven. This one has a big chip out of it, uh, but it's just a Fazetta cover. 
this is a really brilliant comic. Um, I paid $4 way back in the day. I don't think it's worth $4 anymore. <laughs> it's probably worth a lot more. Um, but it's just a really great cover. One of his, I would say one of Fazetta's finest um, artworks. Uh, I would actually say Vampirella number 23 is his best ever. <laughs> um, but uh, that is a great one still. Uh, then we got uh, Vampire Lestat number 10. Number nine, number eight, number six. These are all my dupes. And then we got a couple other really, these are pretty big books. So we got Werewolf by Night. This is a little bit faded, I find. Um, my I have another copy, which is a higher grade. But still, it actually, even though it's faded, it is actually a pretty high grade. Um, it has like almost no spine text. It's actually really, it's in really good shape. It's just faded. Um, then we got Teen Titans, another one that's in reasonable grade. I'd say this is like um, three or four, maybe, maybe four. It's not a bad one. That's the first appearance of uh, Wonder Girl. So kind of a key book. This is uh, Brave and the Bold presents number 60. It's a kind of a key book. Then we have uh, Vampirella number two. I just happen to have two of these. And then we have Eerie. Uh, this is Eerie 135. I paid a, a dollar for this. It's a, little bit, it's a nice San Julian cover. It's a really great cover, by the way. Okay, and then this one is Twisted Tales number five. Uh, this is actually a really good book. Um, it's a controversial one. It's a Corb It's a nice Corbin cover, Richard Corbin cover. Really great book. Really uh, worthy of getting. It's it's one that has so many things going for it. Uh, then we got uh, Barbarella number two. I just happened to buy this twice. I don't know why. Uh, this is actually a nude cover, <laughs> and this is uh, Betty and Veronica number six. Uh, and it's really rare that you get like a nude Archie cover, but if you think about it, she's in the bath nude. So that's kind of cool. Um, just a really great one. And I just happen to have, this is a free comic book thing. Like, you know, like those previews. I just happen to have an extra one of those. Um, then we get, there's a lot more in this box. <laughs> this is a, a big box uh, of comics. Then we got, um, I believe this is Star Trek number two, I believe. So this is a gold key. It's a, it's in a reasonable shape. It's got a few major spine ticks, but it's, it's quite nice. And then we got uh, Wonder Woman number 114. Nice Silver Age Wonder Woman. So it's quite nice. And it's actually very solid. It's a, uh, uh, it's, um, they're saying it's a 2-0, but maybe the spine? I don't know what's wrong with it, but it looks better than a 2-0. <laughs> it looks quite nice. So, um... I'm not sure what's what's the issue with that one. Maybe this, the cover's detached or something. I don't know. And then we have this one. I actually offered this as one of my um, uh, giveaways in the past. So there's that one. That's the first appearance of uh, Bizarro Joker and Bizarro Wonder Woman. And uh, then we got this one, Lois Lane, uh, number 42. This is like a $20, $30 book. It's actually kind of interesting. The, the The person that's involved with this was involved with Shazam. And this is kind of like the first time where you got sort of like a, that crossover with the, the, the staff from uh, the Captain Marvel uh, and DC. So they had sued, right? So that's one. That's kind of cool. And then we got another one. That's another $20 book. Uh, this is like uh, Lois Lane number 73. And it's just a really great bondage, <laughs> uh, S and M cover. It's a really great one. And then we got, uh, Lois Lane number 59. And this is also in reasonably good grade. And then another Lois Lane one I just happen to have dupes of is this one. This is the first silver age appearance of Catwoman. Now this is a two Oh, uh, maybe a two, like it's my comic sh shop graded it as a two Oh, but I think it's slightly higher than that, maybe a 2.5, but you be the judge. So uh, there's that. And then we got 
a free comic book day, but this is a good one. This is the first appearance of Firepower. Uh, Firepower is uh, um, Kirkman, he he who wrote Walking Dead and um, Invincible. Well, he also did this book, and this is the first appearance, so that's kind of cool. And then we got another free comic book day. <laughs> so I just got a bunch of free comic book days in here. Okay, still a lot more to go. We're, this is a big box. This is going to take a while. Um, then we got Fantastic Four number 252. And this is the first appearance of the Minutemen. The Minutemen made their appearance in um, the Loki series. So this is kind of a key. And then we got the Ultimate uh, Fantastic Four number 23. And this is the first full appearance of uh, the... Um, Marvel Zombies. So kind of a key. And then we got Fantastic Four number 30, which is the first cover appearance of the Marvel Zombies. So that's kind of a key. And then we got uh, Marvel 21, which is Cameo. Uh, and then we got um, Tales to Astonish number 44. This is the first appearance of um, the Wasp. So kind of a key. Just happened to have two of those. Uh, so that's Tales of Sonic 44. And then we got a bunch more. Oh, so many books. So this is a big collection that uh, I have lots of dupes of. So this is a Radiant Black number six. So this is a recent Radiant Black. Then we got a Marvel Free Preview. And this is Moon Knight number one. A preview of Moon Knight number one. Another free preview. I just happened to get a couple of these. I don't know why I have so many of them. And then we got Mr. Miracle number three. This is actually a, a pretty big key. This is the first appearance of... Um, uh, I want to say who it is, but I, I'm trying to remember. <sighs> it's actually a really good story, too. Um, I actually read all these. I'm just trying to remember who's first appearance. But it is a first appearance. Uh, Mr. Miracle number three. And then we got Mr. Miracle number five. And then we got Mr. Miracle uh, number eight. Reasonable grades. And this is, a, this is a major first appearance. This is the first um, uh, appearance of Himon. Um, and this is Mr. Miracle number nine. And it's a, it's a reasonable grade too. It's got a, I'd say it's like a VG copy. And then we got Mr. Miracle number 13. I just happen to have a lot of Mr. Miracles. Uh, Mr. Miracle 14. And I actually have a Mr. Miracle number one as well as a dupe. Um, but it's not here. This is 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, and 23. So that's all the Mr. Miracle dupes that I had. And a bunch more. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, okay, then we got um, Brave New World, number one. And this has got a, I, I know this is a major, key, this is like a minor key. So that's kind of a cool one. Uh, then we got some good girl, like bad girl ones. This is Vamp Blade number one. And this one I have to censor. I don't know. These are like like um, like adult versions of Zombie Tramp. I have like uh, number 46. This is Origins number one. This The adult, the risque version, I should say. Then we got uh, Zombie Tramp number one, the Origins. This is not the, the real number one. This is the reprint uh, so that's origins number one and then we got a uh, zombie tramp number 54 we got zombie tramp 61 i have a bunch of zombie tramps that are dupes so then we have this one 63 and i happen to have like a whole bunch of 63s so i don't know why uh i just kept on winning lots where they would always throw this book in <laughs> just, so i got a bunch of those um, and then this is a, a photo cover. 
okay, where it's uh, number 23, and it's the risque version. Then we got um, this one. I believe this is the first appearance of a vamp blade. So I, I believe, I might, I might be wrong in that. Um, this is number nine. So that's a uh, early vamp blade. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, zombie tramp. Then we got zombie tramp number 24. And I'm trying to censor it. Again, the risque cover. The risque covers usually go for a bit more just because they're risque. <laughs> and then we got number 33. And you can, oh, actually, I noticed my pile's getting too high. <laughs> it's like, okay, one sec here. I gotta move things around a bit. Pile's getting too high. You're gonna. Okay, and then we got uh, Vamp Blade number 11, the risque version. And then we got Modoc Head Games. This is the first appearance of the Modoc family. If you watch the Modoc series, the family's in it. And it was actually not a bad series. I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, then we got DNA Agents. And this is a high grade one. This is an 8.5. Um, so a really high grade um, uh, DNA Agents. So definitely one that uh, is pretty major. Um, that's Dave Stevens art. And it's a highly sought after book. So that's And then we got uh, Greek Street. And this is the first appearance of Sweet Tooth. So kind of cool book, kind of under the radar. And then we got another copy of Bizarro um, um, uh, DC Comics Presents 71, which is the first Bizarro Joker. Uh, and then we got a Golden Age kind of major one. This is a uh, Classics Illustrated number 50, first print. And this is a book that was mentioned in the Seduction of the Innocent. I just happen to have two of them. So it's a great one. It's a 3-0. So quite nice, nice one. Okay, next, next stack. Some more Zombie Tramp. <laughs> so you, you can never get enough Zombie Tramp. So this is Zombie Tramp number 80. And then this is one of my favorite Zombie Tramp covers. I just happen to have two of them. Uh, this is the, um, just like the bikini car wash cover. Just a great cover. And I have the risque version of that. So I have dupes of those. Um, and then this one, uh, again, number 80. I have dupes of all the variant covers of 80. So this is, <laughs> whoops, a little bit of a nip slip there. Um, and then we have number 80 again. So these are all different ones. And then more adult comics. These are Cherry Pop-Tart, or Cherry Jubilee. And this is number four. I just happen to have dupes of these. Number two. And then we have Cherry Jubilee number one. It's kind of a good book to get. And then we have number 11. These cherry ones are actually quite, um, like sought after. They're very, uh, usually pretty pricey. Um, so this is number four, number three, and the last one is um, Sweet Tooth The Return, number one. Okay, so one more big stack. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna move some stuff around. Okay, so we got Department of Truth, number seven. I don't know why I had two of those. Then we got a bunch of DC bombshells. So bombshell uh, number 29, 28. I have two copies of 28 extra. And then we got 26. Then we got, um, this is a Firestorm Nuclear Man, number 23. This is the first appearance of Felicity Smoke. So kind of cool. And then we got um, Wonder Woman uh, 288. And this is the first appearance of Supergirl, the, the newer version. Uh, I think, I believe that is what it is. It's the first, kind of a major first appearance. Um, then we got another first appearance. Uh, I forget the guy's name. Uh, I'm trying to remember it. But uh, yeah, this is Wonder Woman uh, 241. And then we got more Wonder Woman. 
Wonder Woman uh, 218. So these are all like earlier, like maybe Bronze Age Wonder Woman. Then we got 217. It's kind of a major one. It's quite, it's a thick, it's a double thickness book. It was 50 cents back in the day. So uh, then we got uh, number 215. Then we got 213, 212, and then we got 202. I actually have two of those. Then it's number 198. Okay, so these are getting earlier. And these ones are actually cool. This is a cooler one because this is where she wasn't wearing her suit anymore. That was kind of cool. And then we have Mog uh, Mongol. Mongol. Uh, this is um, showcase number eight. Uh, this one is the first appearance of Mongol. So kind of cool. She, she made her appearance in the Suicide Squad movie where she died fairly quickly. So... <laughs> You know, if you were specky on her, that was the book to get. Uh, then we got Tales to Astonish, uh, number 49. This is actually a pretty major key. This is the first time that Ant-Man becomes Giant-Man. So it's kind of a major key. Usually this goes for about $50 to $100 range. Uh, in that grade, I should say. It's like a two two five kind of range. And then we got um, Showcase Presents. And this is Johnny Double, first appearance. And then we got Showcase Presents Angel and the Ape, and this is their first appearance. So that's kind of cool. Uh, number 77. And this one, actually, I heard they mentioned a bunch of times on Comic Tom. This is Anthro, which is DC, DC Presents number 74, which is the first appearance of this character, Anthro. And then we have um, Savage Dragon versus uh, the Savage uh, Mega Megaton Man. And I believe this is the first appearance of, um, uh, I think it's like Sav Savage Seahawk. I'm not sure. A Savage, um, what's it called? Not Seahawk. Um, you know, um, the female, she, Sa Savage Dragon, basically, the girl version. Um, I think it's either that one or it's this one where she makes her first cover appearance. Um, this is number 12. So I just happen to have dupes of that as well. Um, believe it or not, she's a pretty hot character. Like, I mean, very popular. Uh, okay, so some more stuff. That pile's getting too high, too. Okay, so then we got some Star Wars. This is uh, from the first series, Star Wars 46. Then we got Star Wars number 5. Star Wars number two, this is the first Han Solo, kind of a major key. And then we got um, this one, this is kind of a major one. This is Grimjack number 26. This is the first color appearance of the Ninja Turtles. So that's kind of cool. And I forget why this is a key, but this is Civil War Free Comic Book Day. And it has like, it's a minor key as well. Um, and then we got Phantom of the Scan. I just happened to have two of these. I don't know why I got two of those. Uh, then we got Bombshells number 20. And Bombshells number 19. Then we're going to get a lot more. Last, last stack of comics from this box. So we got Bombshells 18. Bombshell 17. Bombshell 16. Bombshells 15, Bombshells 13, <laughs> wow. Bombshells 11, Bombshells 10, Bombshells 9, Bombshells 7, Bombshells 4. This is a great cover. Bombshells number 3, which is Tana. I love this cover. Okay. And then we got uh, Bombshells number two. And another great cover, Bombshells number one. And then we got Bombshells United number one. <laughs> and Bombshells number 30. And that's it. 
those are all my duplicate comics. Uh, it's a pretty big <laughs> collection of comics um, and some magazines as well. And um, I love to hear in the comments below, what should I do with all these comics? These are the ones that I don't need in my collection because they're ones I have duplicates of. Uh, should I sell them? Use the money to maybe buy some Grail? I, there's you know some value in here. Uh, I'd say there's at least $1,000 worth of comics even though, you know, a lot of them are junk, but, um, you know, there's a lot of good ones in here too. Um, so should I sell them? Should I do free giveaways? I imagine you're going to say, give, do the free giveaway, but, uh, what should I do with these books? Uh, or should I, um, you know, um, trade them? Like I'm, I'm willing to trade. Like if you have some book that I need, and um, you want to trade for a bunch of these, I'm all for it. So I'd love to hear your comments, what you maybe want to trade, maybe what you want to, if you're interested in any of these books, just tell me and we can work something out. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.